Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can add Google Analytics code to your WordPress website. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now, we will be adding Google Analytics to our website Let's Learn WordPress.com. As you all know, this is our brand new website and we want to add Google Analytics to this site. For that, simply search Google Analytics. This is the website. Click on it and sign in with the Gmail ID that you want to use with Google Analytics. Now we are in the Google Analytics setup. Click on Start Measuring. Give the account name. You can write anything. We will write the site's name. You can also tick Google products and services, but we will leave it. Click on Next. Now add the property name for Google Analytics. We will use the same website's name. Choose the appropriate time zone and the relevant currency. Make sure to choose the correct country and the time zone. If you click on the advanced option, you will see this. You can leave this as it is as it is not recommended for new analytics users. So let's leave this. Click on next. Choose the category of your business. We could not find technology, so we'll choose another. Choose business size and choose what you want to measure. And click on create. Access all the terms. You can choose what you want in your email, like performance suggestions, features, feedback, or offers, but we will not choose any and save it. You can run the tour, but we will skip it. Now choose the platform where you want to use Google Analytics. We are doing it for the website. Click on the web. Write your website URL here. I will copy this URL and paste it here. You do not need this HTTPS. And write the string name. And create string. So here is our measurement ID. We need to add this to our website. Please note that it can take up to 48 hours after the TAT installation. Click on View Tag Instructions. Click on Install Manually. So this is the code that needs to be added to the website. We will copy this and paste it into the notepad. So this code has to be added to our website. Let me close this. Some WordPress themes provide an option to only insert this measurement ID while some do not regardless we will learn how to add this code so it is all done here so now let's log in to the back end of our website slash wp admin enter the credentials we are now in the wordpress dashboard this website is using infold theme if i click here and scroll down to Google Services. Then Infold offers to add Google Analytics code here, basically in this format. You can simply copy this measurement ID and paste it here and save all changes. But if your theme does not provide this option, you can also add the code manually no matter whatever thing you are using. Let me add the code manually. Let me quickly refresh this. You can see I have not added the code on the theme. Anyway, for any other websites using different themes, go to Appearance and Theme Editor and go to the Themes function. Scroll down so you can add the code here. We will need to add this code over here. However, you cannot directly use the code here. 
a simple code which you can use to add Google Analytics code. Copy this code and replace this with the Google Analytics code. Make sure the Google Analytics code is above this and below this. Now copy this whole code and paste it to function.php and update the file. So the file is updated. Now open your website. Now to check if the added code is here or not, right click, go to view source code and copy this ID on the source. Press Ctrl plus F and Ctrl plus V. If you see the ID here, this means the code has been added. So let me close this. So it can take up to 48 hours for data to be shown. Let me close this. Let me go home. Usually after 48 hours, you should be able to see all the data here. You can then click on reports and see more data, like by country visit and more. Let me click on real time. So currently nothing is visible. To see if the analytics code is working, try opening the website with the VPN. I will turn the VPN on and visit the website and refresh it. Let me refresh the analytics too. I can now see one active user. This basically means the analytics code has been applied successfully. If you cannot see the data, please wait up to 48 hours. And by the way, you can also see the Google Analytics data on your dashboard. Go to Plugins and add new. And search for the plugin Google Site Kit. This is the plugin by Google itself. Install it. And activate the plugin. I will close this here. Go to Site Kit. And you can connect Google Analytics as part of your CEFA. Simply sign up with Google. You can also add Google AdSense and other services. If you do not want the plugin, simply check the earlier website for data. We hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.